Good evening, Henry Seniak, uh, Tremont. Um, one quick thing is I'm hoping also in one of these breakout groups, uh, Councilman Cummings brought up a, um, a proposal 139, and I'm hoping to hear more about that tonight. But getting back directly to, uh, to the comments direct, directly to you, Mr. Kelly, and you know, supposedly through uh, President Sweeney. Um, obviously, we've had, uh, I think, what, three of your colleagues uh, resigned to go on to other political aspirations or be indicted by the feds. Um, I'm just wondering if, uh, as this process continues, and maybe more of your colleagues either have bigger political aspirations or maybe get indicted by the feds, um, how does this affect the, uh, the overall uh, picture when we're looking at dividing the wards? And when we do that, um, is Council President Sweeney going to make sure that every person that is a council person now will get an equal cut of the council leadership fund? Thank you. And that was clarifying which part of what I said? <laughs> I just would like to make a comment that all 21 of us realize that the institution of council is bigger than any one of us individually. And although all of us don't always agree, um, being one of nine children, I can tell you some of the most spirited debates we had were at the dinner table. And we didn't always agree with all of our siblings, and that's the way it is within city council. But we all support one another, and um, um, hopefully we're all sharing the council leadership fund as well. <laughs> I, I'd like to thank um, Councilman Kelly, who's been very gracious. I, there's one last thing I'd like to ask you about, if, if you can stay for one other question. Actually, a, a woman, I don't remember who it was, asked me about this on the way in. Um, we understand that the redistricting plan will be passed before April 1st, and, and so by council. And so today is March 4th, my granddaughter's birthday. So that leaves like, whatever that is, 26 days. So my question is, do you know at what point will the proposed plan be public and at that time when the, the proposal for the redraw the boundaries is made known, will there be opportunity for, for public comment and will that be in time for the plan to be tweaked? The ordinance requires, provides that we, we shall have this done by the 1st of April. However, I would very much like to get this done sooner because we, there's a lot of work that has to happen in terms of submitting this to the Board of Elections so the precincts can be drawn. Um, no council person or no candidate for council will be able to pull petitions to, to start circulating petitions until that process is done. Um, so I would, I would hope that it would be done before April 1, but I, I can't promise that. In terms of the what, when it will be public, it will, it will go, my understanding is this, and this may, this is my understanding today, I've never been through this, but um, it will be vetted through a committee of city council prior to going to the body for a vote. Um, I, can't, I can't answer your question whether it'll be, the public is of course, every single meeting of city council and every committee meeting is open to the public. Whether there will be time to tweak it at that point, I don't know. Um, but I would certainly encourage everybody to get as many of their concerns to council before that process happens because I don't know. The question is asking, does uh, Councilman Kelly have any knowledge currently uh, that he can share about what is being proposed in terms of the west side there's a lot of talk within council and a lot of a little a lot of back and forth. It would be irresponsible for me to, to, to tell you what any proposed boundary might be because they're not there. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, Councilman, just one minute. We, we're gonna cut off questions now and you're gonna move to our groups. Adrian, I'm gonna get to you. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, I wanna ask uh, Councilman Cummins to uh, someone that spoke referenced the Issue 139 or 39, I wanted Councilman Cummins to just give a brief explanation of what that is. 
Um, for those who may have seen it, um, I, I, it was basically a recommendation to pursue the Charter Committee's recommendations uh, to develop a neighborhood development planning and service districts uh, that residents would be elected to and represent uh, the equivalent would be like the planning districts and the safety districts, the five safety districts that we have. We considered having that as part of the discussion, but there's just no time. We really uh, can wait to have those discussions. My proposal really to council administration is to pursue that um, through, through, to, through this year and, and leading up to 2010. So there'll be plenty of time for discussion for that. Thank you, Brian. Just uh, reminded me of a, a concept that I want, or uh, an idea that I wanted to make sure that was was conveyed to people, and that is that you know we're really looking at while it's going to be as we discussed, it's going to be difficult because our SPAs are created by our planning department to come up with wards that are that adhere to those. Between now and the next election, which will be in 2013, um, if if I'm there, me and my colleagues, and I know that. Um, other colleagues that are committed to this are going to work hard to get with our planning department to really look at what our SPAs are and redraw lines, neighborhood lines and SPAs that more reflect the neighborhoods as people know them, as people relate to them. So, thank you. Okay, I'd like to ask my, uh, the people who've agreed to be